okay? A club that I don't even like to mention online. But their colors are red and white. You figure it out. He goes by, this was, this was his profile picture. He went by Tommy H-A-M-C. Any of my biker friends that are on here and you want his info, hit me up. You see that? What's that say? You see the top? It says Hell's Angels. This dude, that's not even the Hell's Angels logo. He put Hell's Angels, New York City, on his profile. A three-piece on his profile. And his name was Tommy, H-A-M-C. H-A-M-C, uh, H-A-M-C stands for Hell's Angels Motorcycle Club. John Sloth messaged me and threatened my life, told me that he would have people kick in my door and kill me. And kill me. And then he proceeded to pull myself, all the people that I care about, my family, my friends, relatives, into a hater chat. I want to warn you guys about this hater chat, okay? Because there's a good chance that some of you guys might get pulled in. They will tell you that I'm a rapist, okay? When really, they are the ones that are pedophiles, they're the ones that support pedophiles. I don't understand it. These guys are right under our freaking nose, claiming to be something that they're not. We are getting people arrested, put in prison. And this asshole, this asshole is dragging you guys in there. Anthony Marone, you're a perfect example of someone that's got drug in there. Perfect example. Right? <clears throat> Kelsey Lynn, I don't even know you. Okay? I don't even know you. But Kelsey, what they'll do is they'll pull you in there and they're going to say, AG's a rapist. Let me tell you guys a story of what happened. This is a really personal story, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Okay? What happened was I was a senior in high school and the mother of my children was a freshman. That's when we met. I am 46 years old. When I was a senior in high school, it was pretty common for seniors and freshmen to date. Okay? If you're my age, you probably remember back then. It's a different world now than it was back then. Yes, we had children young. Okay? We had children young. That does not make you a pedophile. These people that are trying to sleep with 12-year-olds are pedophiles. The guys that are pulling people into chats are pedophiles. The innocent people that you're pulling in and that you are digging up dirt on them and telling them that if they support TAP or support me, that they're going to ruin your life. They're going to call your job. That's what they're doing to you guys. They're going to call your freaking job. They're going to they're gonna call your spouse. They're going to do all these terrible things because you follow TAP. Okay? I'm not an angel. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. A lot. Okay? I'm not proud of them, but we all have skeletons in our closet. I've never had a misdemeanor. I've never had a felony. But I have done my fair share of fuckery when I was young. It is what it is, you know? But John Sloth, a.k.a. Brian Hines, you sick... Mm-mm-mm. Okay, well, let me tell you a story. Here, Linda Swanson, where are you at? Hold on, guys. I want to answer that. Linda Swanson. It's okay, I got this. Linda Swanson. She said, I am being investigated for rape. Fuck you, David Pelto. I'll mention your name. An old admin of mine. You guys probably heard me mention his name. About a month ago, whenever I... I don't even know if I want to mention his name. But if you go back on former lives, you'll know who it is. You know what? Fuck you, David Pelto. I'll mention your name. David Pelto. About a month ago, whenever I unpublished my page, 
Okay, the reason why it's unpublished is because this asshole went on and the pedophile that I just showed you guys, the other guy that's running that that hate chat was added onto my page by my own admin. My own admin added him onto my page and guess what they did? They deleted all the freaking evidence and videos off the page. So all you guys in Arkansas, guess what? All those guys in Arkansas are walking. Guess why they're walking? Because they erased all the fucking evidence. They erased all the evidence. My own admin. Okay? So I kick them off my team. I kick them off my team. We have a fallen out. Prior to that, Dave Pelto had bought a 99 blue F-150 pickup truck for me to drive in between St. Louis and uh, and Arkansas because I went back and forth quite often, right? Well, I, I drove up to St. Louis in the pickup truck, and when all this shit happened, he called the police and tried to get a stolen vehicle charge put on me for driving a vehicle that he bought for me to drive okay so the police come and they take me to the police department and they release me three minutes later didn't even book me in you can google search st louis police and i don't pop up because it was totally bullshit so those charges didn't stick and then what did he do Dave put out a good amount of money in the tap. I appreciated everything that he did. Okay, he put out a good a good amount of money in the tap, and he went to the police and tried to get theft by deception charges pressed against me. Theft by deception, so they wouldn't press charges on that. So there's two times he tried to get me put in jail, right? So then what's he do? Him and his wife go up there and say that I touched his wife sexually. Now, let me tell you guys. This happened supposedly two months ago, right? I supposedly touched his wife inappropriately. Yet, I was there a month later after that day. So... Let's say, guys, let's say someone touches your wife inappropriately, okay? Are you going to leave him in your house for a month longer and have him go pick up your 11-year-old daughter and be around your family and kids? I have all the text messages to show that that charge will not hold up. The reason why they did it is because Dave Pelto was excited to get out of his truck and work with tap so we didn't have to drive again. I don't blame him. Huh? I don't blame him. We had a TV deal. Okay? You guys don't know about this. We had a TV deal with a company out of uh, California who is a very big company. I had signed a uh, shopping deal with them, and we had signed papers. And it was going to be very lucrative, and Dave was going to be involved. So he would have never had to drive a diesel again, okay? Well, these assholes, this guy that I just showed you, and the people that run that chat started making phone calls to the uh, production company. Guess why? Because David Pelto gave them all the information of where I'd signed the deal at. So they ruined the TV deal. They ruined my kids freaking future Dave Pelto did and they go and they press charges on me for rape and guess what Dave the DA isn't even going to pick this charge up bro you know why because what you forgot to tell them was all the text messages that occurred for the next three weeks to a month after you accused me of doing that bullshit It never happened, and you're a disgusting pig. You're a pig. So anyway, I got way off course. The only reason in the first place that I ever met Dave was from his wife. And guess what? The reason why I even talked to his wife? Take a wild guess. 
because she messaged my page and told me she'd been raped her whole life growing up. His wife had been raped her whole life. Well, guess what? Now she's pressing charges on me for something I didn't do. So, bitch, I bet you a hundred fucking dollars you did not get raped. What a disgusting ass person to do something like that. Who, who would go somewhere and tell someone that they got raped and then all of a sudden press charges on someone else when they didn't do it? That leads me to believe that you're full of shit. And Dave Pelto, all that money you got, you guys see me doing these exposures. $80,000 Suburban, $100,000 truck. Hey, Dave Pelto, you ruined hundreds, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of business. So guess what? I'm dragging your ass into court, civilly. You're a piece of shit. Anyway... For you guys just now coming in, I'm going to bring up this guy's picture again. He's a registered sex offender, and he's been under our nose this whole time. That's Brian Hines, a.k.a. John Sloth. Okay. In my opinion, you guys, someone that claims that someone raped him when it didn't happen should go to jail. A female should go to jail for accusing somebody of doing something they didn't do. Ugh, sorry, I'm getting a little upset. So, he told my decoys and everyone that I know that I hurt his wife. And she knows, and I know, and there's plenty of proof that shows it never fucking happened hey Dave why don't you tell everybody how Roy and your daughter came to me crying because you fucking abused them you're a disgusting pig and you thought that you were going to come on my page all you did was let a bunch of pedophiles run free all you did was let a bunch of pedophiles run free all them exposures that we put hundreds of hours of work into to gather evidence they're all walking because you you our kids our kids were set for life bro they were set for life we had a TV deal and you ruined it you're a scumbag and she deserves to go to jail. David Pelto, Roy Pelto, <clears throat> I kind of hope I get my day in court with this. They're not going to pick up charges because the DA is smarter than you. I'm in contact with those guys. They understand what happened. They seen that you tried to press bullshit charges on me twice. They seen text messages of, of you saying that I will pay because you were put off tap. No, Dave, you're going to pay because you cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars and you broke non-disclosure agreements. You broke them. Guess what? There's legal recourse for that. And your wife... see anybody that would accuse someone of rape and then claim that she was raped her whole life growing up is fucking disgusting she belongs in jail and she works for a fucking school district in Greenland, Arkansas around fucking kids your whole family should live on a fucking island by yourselves you can't go around making false accusations on people, you scumbag. If you guys get pulled into uh, any kind of hater chat and they start telling you bullshit about me and showing you proof, they fucking make screenshots, you guys. They make them. Yeah, they drag our kids into it. They drag our kids into it.
They drag families into it. They will drag your kids into it. Okay? I'm going to be live for a real exposure here real soon. I wanted to talk about John Sloth and why I haven't been live. Okay? I love you guys. I apologize. I got upset. And we will be seeing you guys soon. Okay? There's nothing that you can do to stop tap. You're either on our side or you're against us, and we'll roll you the fuck over. Have a good night, guys.